man, it's a home game for you. Uh, I know some of the other fighters on this card from New England have had this opportunity before. This is the first one for you. Uh, can you even put into words what it means for, for a kid from Abington to, to step into a dark? Yeah, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very special for me to be able to be coming out here and fighting in my hometown of you know Boston. I was born and raised in East Boston, right you know right down the street from here. When I would like, you know, drive by here, I never thought I'd be able to fight in a place like this. But um, you know, the UFC's given me this opportunity today, and I t hope to take like full advantage of it. We just talked to your opponent, Charles Rosa, and he said you're one of the few New England guys that he hasn't had the opportunity to train with. Before. Yeah. But he said that he's trained with some of your training partners. Have you heard from them? You know, have they given you any little tips and tricks here and there about what to expect? Uh, not honestly, not really. Everybody's kind of like, cause everybody respects Charles, and like I feel like I get kind of you know a good amount of respect here locally too, and I think people have been very good about being, um, you know, not not stepping on toes or anything like that. And you know, I, I haven't really talked to Charles too much, but he seems like a seems like a nice guy, and I, I feel like every <laughs> every opponent like I I get matched up with, I want to like have a little bit more. Like, of a, uh, you know, I won't make it like a fight fight, but sometimes like you see them and you're like, all right, we're friends or whatever. <laughs> and, I mean, that just kind of speaks to the, the close knit group that New England is. Yeah. And somebody you have yeah. Had, uh, yeah. I think at the UFC too, you know, in general, like I think a lot of times you see a lot of the guys and you're like, oh, like these guys have beef, these guys have that, but sometimes it's, it's like played out for the camera too. And he also kind of mentioned that he, he thought that he said he was getting asked a lot about your ground game and he said, that you felt like you may be a little bit of a one-trick pony in that department. Do you yeah. feel like if it comes to stand and trade with him that you can hang in? Yeah, no, I mean, I don't think I'm a one-trick pony. And, you know, I think if, if he thinks that, there's one way to find out. And, you know, I think we're going to figure it out Friday. What has this fight week been like for you? It's your first time fighting in the UFC in Boston. What have, what, what has the whole week been like for you? So when I usually go out and, tr and train other places, what I do is I, I – I land wherever I'm fighting, and then I just go walk around. And I explore a little bit. Uh, I was born and raised all around here, so I, I, <laughs> I don't really have much to explore. So I'm kind of like walking around in circles sometimes, and then I'm like, all right, I've been here, I've done that. Um, it feels a lot like when I used to fight locally, because um, you know it's all my people, all, all my family, all my friends are always talking, you know, talking to me, hitting me up, and they're all excited. So that's cool. That's the only real difference I, I think between fighting locally and and fighting this time, besides obviously like the the big stage and all that. Considering your familiarity with the area, what have you been able to do to sort of pass the time here? Uh, not much, <laughs> not much. I wish there was more I could, I could be doing, but uh, I've just been hanging in the hotel room and talking to the other fighters, so. Has it been the first time in your career that you've had to, you've gone into a fight trying to get back into the win column? Uh, with the last loss, was was it is it tough to, to enter that mindset where you, you know, you picked up your first loss, was it easy for you to get over? Yeah, it was easy. Um, in this sport, it's, it's it's not about you know it's, it's not about staying undefeated forever. It's not about um, you know just being perfect. You know, I think a lot of fighters get into this because because they got you know the the bus kick sometimes or because uh, you know they they grew up with like challenges and I think that's a part of the sport. It's overcoming challenges and and being able to to step up and being able to recover, adapt, and improve. So. How much better do you feel this fight week compared to the last one? Now you're up at 45. You still have to cut a, a pretty good amount of weight to get yeah, to 45, but how much better sure. do you feel this time? Sure. I feel, I feel uh, so before, for 135, a lot of times I, w I would have to like drain myself for two months first, and then, and then the last week I'd still have you know 15 pounds to cut. And, and this is the first time I feel, you know, I get a little energy. I feel, you know, I, c I can talk to people. <laughs> I'm, I'm more like tolerable. I think my friends appreciate it a little bit more too. So. I, I feel good so far as of right now. So you stay at home at 45? No, I, I like it. <laughs> I like 45. <laughs> what did you learn from your first loss? Um, you know, it, it was my first loss uh, professionally, but gr like being in the gym, training with other people, like, I, I know there's better people than me out there. I know there's people that are tougher. I know there's people that are, you know, this, that, this. But, uh, you know, so I kind of grew up already knowing what it's like not, not always coming out on top. So uh, for me, it's just it's just another you know it's just another day. Like as long as you can, can uh, you know pull yourself back together and get back in that win column. You know, continue to perform. Um, I, I don't think it's like a honestly I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Um, I know Jeremy Stevens is on this card, and he's a guy I reference to a lot because he's got he's had plenty of ups, plenty of downs, and and. Um, he, he's a guy that I think would be tough for for anybody to be fighting. You know, he's a, he's a veteran of the sport, and I think to become somebody like that, you have to go through the wins, you have to go through the losses, you have to, 
you know, get hurt. You have to fight through injuries, all that stuff. So I think it's part of growing. It's been two and a half years since he's last fought. How hard is it for you to game plan for a guy that you don't know what kind of improvements he's making, what kind of changes he's making? Yeah. That said, what do you expect from him? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I expect the best Charles Rosa that I can possibly you know, yeah, he's training with ATT. He's from, uh, he, you know, he's from the area. He's training with good schools around here, and then, he, and you know, he got a great record just training locally. I think him going down to Florida and, and then training with those guys, it should be a step up. Um, if if it's not a step up, then you know, that's fine. Like I'll be more prepared for that. I was talking to the fans yesterday at the open workouts. Obviously, they're all from New England. Yeah. And this fight got brought up and. I said, oh, I wonder who the crowd's going to be cheering for. Yeah. And the guy says, to me, and I was surprised by this, he says, hey, Rosa doesn't even train here in New England. He's down in Florida. He's yeah. like, I'm, I'm cheering for Manny. Yeah. Man, he, re he really, truly represents New England. Yeah. Do, you, do you agree with that? You think you represent New England harder than he does? Yeah, first of all, I mean, I like, really appreciate that, you know, and it, and it makes, me, uh, makes me happy to hear that people view me as, as kind of the New England guy. Um, you know, it, it's, tough, it's tough to say with him because he, he is out there trying to find a better, uh, like, you know, uh, what, I don't know what his situation was before he went down there, but, you know, he took two, two years off and, he, and he's out there looking for the best, um, the best training he can get. So I, I can't knock him for it, but at the same time, uh, his nickname's Boston Strong, isn't it? <laughs> like, what's he doing in Florida? <laughs> so, well, I mean, that, that's stupid, though. It's like, it's a trivial thing. Um, I think I represent New England more, though. <laughs> Coming off your first loss and fighting in the Garden, now, do you feel any pressure to have another great first-round submission, or you know, is that not even on your mind? Uh, I just want to, you know, bring the best fight I can possibly bring. Um, it, it would be great to have a finish. It would be great to to, to finish him quick, but at the same time, I'm ready for a fight too. Also, BSU Bears. <laughs> <laughs> How about a prediction? How do you win? I know I just said that, but I think first round submission. <laughs> yeah, so quick fight, hopefully. All right, thanks. All good. Thank, right, you, thank you guys. Appreciate it.